God bless you too. Thank you, man. And you know what that is, don't you? It's not a beard. It's not a goatee. It's what Adam used on Eve. David used it on Bathsheba. Samson used it on Delilah. President Kennedy used it on Marilyn Monroe. It's a female booty hole tickler. Drive them crazy. <laughs> He's trying to grow one, and I'm trying to grow one. Clarence Reed is one of the most talented people in the whole world. A world-class R&B singer, writer, producer in Florida, who also happens to be the filthiest rapper that you'll ever meet. When I was growing up, my father used to listen to all these party records, and Blowfly was the master. What's up? The first time I paid attention to Bullfly, it was like, okay, this dude, he's being futuristic, he's being adventurous. I think the reason that Clarence is important in the history of music is not just because of the music that he did, but because he was pioneering in so many ways. He, you know, recorded what, you know, a lot of people think is the world's first rap song, and I think he has a legitimate claim to saying that he's the person who recorded the world's first rap song in 1965. He invented the Miami Sound, which launched the careers of people like Casey and the Sunshine Band, Betty Wright, Gwen McRae. He was able to fuse lots of different styles of music together and create a brand new sound. And he was the cornerstone of the Florida soul and R&B music scene. And without him, you wouldn't have all of these classic songs like Clean Up Woman and Rockin' Chair. And uh, I think that it's important that people know that, that not only that he exists, but that he had those contributions. What Clarence Reeves at the type was saying, you're most special than anyone can imagine. You're the queen of heaven's special pageant. And I say this with all my heart, angels in heaven knew from the start. Young lady, there's no one more special than you, but God. That's Clarence Reed. Blowfly. Bet you I tit smelling, fish smelling, whale wishing, no douching. Whoopie go birds over you, panty cross discharge. Madonna's woman is honor, glory, S1, pussy heart. Britney Spears, pussy tears. That's your child, pussy flies. Soviet Russia, bus hole usher. Over winter's unemployed hemorrhoids. That's when she don't sit her ass down on the stool no more. My name is Gary Gilmore, and I am a big Blowfly fan. Um, these are a couple Blowfly albums. And uh, I got involved with Blowfly on a personal level because I do poster art. And um, so I did some posters for some Blowfly shows, and I basically want to continue to do that. Well, I got my first Blowfly album when I was in high school, um, and it was one of those albums that I got just because it seemed really weird, you know, which is, you know, appropriate for Blowfly. Um, and of I was surprised by how great the music was. The lyrics were hilarious, of course. The album was called Blowfly's Party, and he had songs in there called Can I Come in Your Mouth, and Who Did I Eat Last Night, and uh, Panty Lines, and it was just, it was, a, it was a fun record, but it was also filled with amazing music. And then, unfortunately, uh, I didn't listen to that album for 20 years because I got rid of my record player, and so a couple years ago, actually about four years ago, I saw the record in a box in my closet and I decided to do an uh, internet search and just find out more about the guy and I found out he was still alive and touring and making music and decided this is a guy I want to make a movie about. His writer's royalties are worth millions of dollars. He sold it for nothing. I don't like to talk about it because I get extremely pissed. Part of your life story goes in a matter of months. Gonna be a spermy night in Georgia. A spermy He made it a little funky cause you know I'm a perfect angel. And he made me look kinda okay, maybe I'm a little scumbag on there. You know, with Jonathan and it's great. He put out the real movie. They said, Well, truthful things in life is true, and there ain't nothing phony about that movie. All the everything on there is true. Working with Clarence was uh, an unbelievable experience and it was I, I really enjoyed every part of making it because every day that I shot I learned more about him as a person and I learned more about his music and his point of view um, and in a way working with Clarence 
was easier than with a lot of other subjects because he was so free and easy around the camera. There was no filter with him. There was no, no censoring himself. You know, he's a very open book, and that made it not only easy but very enjoyable. Who a dirty man. I'm the only normal person God created. Well, uh, as I said, we're at the premiere in New York City. Also today, the film is now available on iTunes and Vudu and Amazon, and it's uh, on VOD all over the United States. And in November, we're going to have DVDs coming out, so you'll be able to get it um, and buy it and keep it at home. And lots of bonus features on the disc, and we have Blu-ray coming out as well. And hopefully it'll have a, a long, successful life, and it'll help people to learn about Clarence Reed and Blowfly and their music and help extend his legacy and not only uh, introduce him to new fans but uh, you know keep him in the public eye of the people who already know about him. Clarence should have had so much more right now. So much more. So what do you think? Do you think you're going to heaven or hell? Uh, I wouldn't give a I don't think I would want to go to heaven. What I, if it's like the Bible said, that would be boring to me. Hey, this is Blowfly. I'm also Clarence Reed, and you're watching Realtor. If y'all don't watch it, you're going to get this curse put on you. Heepers, jeepers, devil's tea. You would find a huge funky pussy where your dick used to be. You would drip from the hip and smell like a skunk and bleed like a creed once a month. Michael Jackson's spirit would call you one funky hoe, because every time you do the split, your pussy would stay to the flow. All the juice will flow. That's what it means.